brought to this country from Italy in 1662, Punch and Judy, like Panto, has always poked fun at the characters and issues of the day. Brian Clark says the show's constantly evolving, and he should know. He's been a Punch and Judy man for 50 years, and today concentrates on making puppets at his workshop in Kessingland near Lowestoft. It can be political, it can be topical. It's got to be topical. In Victorian days, Mr Punch would be topical. There were no newspapers or people would only get their news by the Punch and Judy man on the streets. And if the Marcus of Queensby said something about the boxing rules, Mr Punch would make his own comment about it. And it stayed like that. It's still the format. There's Punch, the Judy, the policeman, the baby, the crocodile, the sausages, the hangman, the ghost. They're all there. But each Punch and Judy man puts his own little bit of interpretation.